say say hi before I throw you out. <laughs> oh. Hates being held. Hey guys, my name is Izzy. I'm a sporadic YouTuber, and by that, I mean. I have recorded a video every single day this week, I think, but I just haven't uploaded them. They will probably never be uploaded, that's how I work. I like record a ton of stuff and then I'm like, nah. So today I'm doing my Readorama TBR, super pumped, and I've had it picked out for a while now, but yeah, I think it's time to record this video. So if you don't know what Readorama is, it's a readathon that runs from the 12th to the 18th, I think, and there are eight challenges. I'm going to start at the end and work my way up. So the eighth challenge is to go into a book blind. So I picked the girl I used to be. Uh, I randomly picked this out of my TBR waste basket. <laughs> but uh, I picked this out and I'm like, oh yeah, I don't know anything about that book, which tends to be a lot of books on my TBR at this, at this point. I like forget when I buy them. I'm like, oh yeah, that sounds good. But then goes out of my brain. So this is the girl I used to be by April Henry. No clue what it's about. I, I know it's a YA mystery because I spoiled myself by reading here on the back. Um, but yeah, so no clue. It's small though, so it's perfect for a readathon. And it's YA, so perfect for a readathon. Yeah. <laughs> Challenge number seven is to read a book with an illness involved in it. I don't know if this counts, but I'm going to make it count. So I picked Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. I've actually never read this. I've read excerpts, and I know the story, obviously, but I, I'm kind of, like, kind of going with illness with this one because, I don't know, it's, it's a little bit like an illness. Not really, but shh. So the next book covers two challenges for me, and it is start a series and read a book with an animal on the cover. So I picked The Eternal Ones. I have no clue what this is about. I think it's about vampires maybe or immortals. No clue at all, but I just picked it up because of the series. And there's a snake on the cover. That counts. Look at the little snake. So yeah, I went for it. So the next challenge is to read a book with Irish elements because it will be around St. Patrick's Day-ish in March some point. I don't actually know when it is because I don't really celebrate. but. It's sometime in this month. Um, so I picked This Is The Way by Gavin Cor Corbett. Uh, I think this is set in Ireland. I think it's set in Dublin, actually. Yeah, Dublin, Ireland. Ireland. Um, so I, and that's basically all I know. I think it's a mystery, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I picked it up because it was small and I was super happy that it was set in Dublin. So yeah, that counts. Go me. <laughs> the next challenge is to read a book where, where the main character has the same initial as you. Since my name, my nickname is Izzy, and I go by that one here, that's the name I choose. My real name's Elizabeth. But, uh, so I, I actually kind of cheated. I could have had two different initials, so I have a w wide range of books. But no, I went with I. Um, so I picked Ilsa and Ilsa, uh, is that how you say it? Ilsa? And the Happily Ever After. I've read all the other books of this, um, and I figured I might as well read this one because these are awesome for readathons, and they're super easy and super, super fluffy and light and easy to get through. And this is the only one I haven't read yet. The next challenge is to read a book that has Rama somewhere on the cover between the author or the title. So. <laughs> I picked the, I think this is the fifth book, the fifth book in the zombie series, because I have been reading these during readathons because they're super short, perfect for readathons. So, uh, <laughs> so let's see. Darren Shan, zombie. Okay, so R, A, and baby. M for zombie. And there's another A, Rama. Woo! So the last challenge was to read seven books, so I think I'm just going to grab an extra book off of my already marked TBR, which I will link down below. I already did that video. Um, so I'll probably just pick one of those books, probably Nick and Nora if I don't get to it because it's super small, perfect for readathon. So that is my TBR for the Readorama readathon. Super pumped. I'm really excited. I love it. I'm so pumped. So yeah, if you are participating in Readorama, please let me know I, so we can read together. I'm super pumped. If you have read any of these books, let me know in the comment section below if they're any good. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Some of them I'm like, oh, 
but they've been on my TBR, some of them have been on my TBR for a very long time, so I'm good to just get through them and see if I actually do enjoy them. You never know, right? So anyway, peace. I'm out. Goodbye, guys. Have a good one. All that good stuff. Be good to each other. Love you. All that jazz and good stuff and whatever. Peace. I'm out. Goodbye.